Yo, what up, Toshi here. It's been a little minute since we made our last Raid Shadow Legends video. I've been playing the game quite a bit. You can see here in the background, I actually have been autoing it. We leveled up our characters some more. I did run the multi-battle instance because, again, it's one of the best features, if not the best feature that is present in this game, right, at the time of recording. Again, I just love that you can multi-battle farm. It just makes the farming a lot easier, especially when you have a bunch of shaved up, shaved up, saved, I need to get shaved up, bro, my head is looking a little bit uh a little bit fuzzy click my link in the description or scan my qr code to get insane bonuses that are only available with my link you will get the huge starter pack with light sworn a very strong epic champion from the sacred order and you'll also get another pack after reaching level 15 which is going to be epic juliana i'm level 18 at the moment we should hit 20 very very soon i assume there is a bunch of things you do get when you hit level 20 bunch of characters that are being added to raid as of my time of recording there's going to be a bunch of Norse mythological characters, such as Loki, Thor, Freyja, and Odin. Freyja reminds me of a character from uh, League of Legends, and then Loki and Thor is definitely characters that you probably are all familiar with from, you know, should we say it? The Avengers, right? So on and so forth. Um, if you have seen some of the Thor movies, they're pretty good in my honest opinion. I think Thor as a character is pretty nice. The whole Asgard place is also pretty sick too, right? So the event that they're running is going to be called the asgard divide which again you'll be able to get a bunch of these characters from the asgard divide which is the mythological place that these characters do end up taking place and so this will be from august 24th to november 22nd and you'll be able to collect all of these champions everyone could get loki the deceiver for free by just logging into raid for seven days kind of like what you would do for the previous character we talked about in the last video this is going to be from now to October 23rd. So definitely do log into raid for those seven days so you can get Loki the Deceiver as soon as possible. With that being said, you also do get a bunch of extra rewards after you do log in for the past seven days, right? Going on to the 14th day, you get a bunch of extra goodies for logging in. You get so many returning player, maybe new player, a bunch of just rewards that you get on top of these rewards that are already being given to you from this event that is currently going on in Raid Shadow Legends. Again, definitely an amazing time to start playing the game or return to the game. Raid is a very iconic game. And I think that's one of the best things about Raid, being able to just say Raid Shadow Legends. Like that is a name that when you say to some people, it's just like, it gives a certain type of response. And that's what I appreciate a lot about this game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, hey guys, we're going to be talking about Raid Shadow Legends today. And it's like, <laughs> it's actually really funny. And I do like that a lot. Okay, we got a bunch of summons, stuff like that. We're going to check out if we can re-gear some of our champions because we do have some more gear. We're probably going to replace. So we haven't been using Luria. Um, we're probably going to replace her because we haven't been using her. We've been using the starter characters still. So we're going to swap characters here just because the characters we rolled for in the last video were a lot better. So we're going to change the weapons on this character right here. So let me go ahead and give her the better gear we have now. Again, we are looking for pieces that are going to replace. Like this one right here, this is a four star. This one's a epic, but it's three star, so it's not better. Um, Again, early game, you kind of just want to throw on main stats. You don't really care about leveling it up right away. <laughs> Help me, please. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I enjoy gotcha games. All right, let's go ahead and run some battles here. Just check this out. What is this? Oh, yeah, because I have been running... The auto for quite some, I've been running it for a very long time, actually. So I get all these rewards just for playing the game. It's insane. Plarium points. What is Plarium points for? I'm guessing this is Plarium points program. Oh, la, la. Champion souls. So you get rewards for just existing as a player and player. I guess you get this from being logged into Plarium. So yeah, make sure you do that as well. I had to bind my account to Plarium. I did this before the last video. I, I think I did it. No, I did before the last video. Yes. So definitely do this right away as soon as you make your account. Because again, you are getting a bunch of these extra rewards. Why not? It's very, very quick and easy. And then the login portal also becomes a lot easier for you. Because you don't have to go from... You go from A to B instead of going from like A all the way to D. If that makes sense, right? Epic 7 has been very, very harsh with the characters they've released. Like all the characters have been extremely oppressive in terms of like real-time arena. And if, like, you don't have the newest character, then you can't compete in the meta, which is very frustrating. So I'm assuming, hopefully, Raid Shadow Legends does have a bunch of balance patches they do to, you know, flush in and flush out new characters, characters that were previously, you know, meta in the game. 
we put two more characters. We have a tank now. Rune, rune upgrading and Summoner's War, man. This definitely reminds me of the rune upgrading and Summoner's War. Okay, wait, there is an upgrade chance. Wait, we got the upgrade and it was very low. Can we get the upgrade again? We have so many credits. We got it. All right. I think this is the last upgrade. No, no, no. Max is 225. Uh, do we go for it? We got it. All right. Awesome. We're max level. Wow. That actually worked out. I did not expect that to work. And we got some pretty decent subs. We got a little bit more speed. Um, we got attack percent, crit damage, accuracy. I mean, I don't know if we need accuracy on this character. Again, guys, remember, you will get other rewards. On top of the rewards I did mention earlier in the video that you are going to receive as a new player. Remember, you still have a Light Sworn. You still have Juliana, right? You still have all the other characters mentioned in the last video that you can receive once you do reach the certain level you need to reach. Again, it's very easy. All you're doing in the early game is just farming the campaign. So you'll reach levels really fast. You get so much energy as a new player. Again, you are able to just go as far as you want to go as a new player. They don't really stop you from just continuously farming in the early game. Because again, you're getting so many resources. The biggest thing in a lot of these games is energy. And if you're getting energy, you'll be able to get levels. You'll be able to clear content quicker. You'll be able to progress faster. Energy is your sole way of progressing. Because again, a lot of the things in the game is gave by, by uh, energy, right? And the energy gives you more chances to get past or bypass that layer of RNG, for instance, right? All right, so we did do five battles, but we do have 10 chips here. So I guess we just use all of these, right? Maybe there's something to skip because again, a lot of these battles are easy. Well, let me not talk too soon because this guy seems like he's, uh oh, no, not our, not our DPS character. We need her up. We need her up. We need her up. Okay, well, that one just heals. All right, so we were definitely weak to that one. We could have lost that. And again, even though we have double double power against theirs, they did have a character that was dumpstering our two characters. And he was just a healer. Or not a healer, just a tank. That's insane. Three-star tank. We still almost lost that. Again, speed is king. The faster you are, the better. If you're not fast, then uh, you miss on a lot. He does increase his own speed, so then he ends up outspeeding some of your units. We are still faster than him, though, but he definitely is outspeeding one of our DPS characters. Nice. Bro got some crusty toes, though. I ain't gonna lie. Might need to uh, go to the spa. Get them things pedicured. Has 75% chance of stealing all buffs from enemy... What the freak? And you increase it to 100% chance? Has just still enemy debuffs and turn meter as well as ally attack freeze. Has a chance to invade enemy skills and effects. Holy moly. And they even give you a perfect soul for him. That's insane. You get an XP boost for three days, which does help you progress faster. On those days, you definitely do want to spend all of your energy. So don't feel like you can't spend your energy before that just to progress faster. And then once you do reach the 12th the 12 day, then you spend the bulk of your energy, right? For those three days. So you probably save all of your stamina pots and all that jazz until the 12th day once you get the stamina boost. Click the link in the description or scan my QR code in the screen to get those bonuses for creating your account or returning as a player in Raid Shadow Legends. Remember, you get Light Sworn, you can get Juliana. We also have the seven day login event, just like I mentioned before for Loki, which again, he's an insane character. I mean, this is insane. Being able to steal enemy buffs and turn meter is just dummy broken imagine you're stealing some of those attack buffs even a speed buff defense buff like any buff you name it you just steal from enemy that is insane that is insane and increasing the attack of an ally too which makes them extremely valuable for some like i would i would probably assume like some protect the carry composition essentially like i'm trying to imagine him in a cleave comp and that's kind of like uh, maybe that works out depends on how fast he is really I don't know what buffs you would still like turn one if you want turn one for this character that makes sense right i am trying to see the vision here with that i don't think he'll be that crazy for like a cleave or anything i mean you do increase the duration of the debuffs on the enemy so maybe he is crazy for cleave right you have him going the second turn right you have your debuffer going the first turn maybe he is just the anchor to your opener or something like that who knows we'll have to wait and see but we're definitely going to get him on the seventh day and i cannot wait for that the links for the download again qr code in the screen or the link will be in the description definitely get in here i have the clan also remember the clan is open if you guys do want to join the clan as well the tag was in the last video but the tag is in this video also if we just go to the clan right here at the bottom left and then we have spoder spoder clan spoder clan yeah yeah spoder. 
<laughs> Spoiler clan, dude. What a what a what a very interesting name. But yeah, feel free to join. All right. Wait, our members are full. Wait, we have full members. No one can join. Wait, these people have passed me. Underdog XXX. Man, he's grinding. He's grinding. He's grinding. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.